Good afternoon. Lovely day. Summer 2020 in Switzerland. 2000 years ago, the Samaritans were a mixed race who lived for hundreds of years in Palestine, Israel, before Jesus came on the scene. When Jesus had to travel through in the mid first century through Jerusalem from Galilee, he had to go through the Samaritan area and they were despised people. They were a mixed race. So they were lower than the Jews. They were looked down upon. There was certainly racism. And people didn't care about the human being and about their neighbor. And uh, Jesus told a story and it's in the Bible. Open your Bible with me, whatever language you read well. Urdu, Arabic, Amharic, Hindi, up to you. French, Swiss, German language. I read from an easy English version. Chapter 10, Luke's Gospel. It is in the middle of the Bible, New Testament, Injil, Luca, Luke's Gospel, chapter 10. Today I read a story from verse 25 to verse 37. 25 to 37, 10th chapter. The story of the Good Samaritan. You know, the Jews were God's people, so they were very proud about. At the time of Jesus, they were the self-righteous people because they said we have the law of Moses of the Old Testament and we follow all the prophets. Just like today, many of us, Muslim or Christians, whatever we say, we are good people ourselves. Because we have the Bible, we follow the Bible. Let's see what Jesus says about who is really good. Verse 25, I'm reading, one day an authority of the law stood up to put Jesus to the test. So they wanted Jesus who associated himself with lowly people, with sinners and with outcasts, with prostitutes, with tax collectors, with people who had low self-esteem, with different races. He was questioned, he was tricked with this story. Listen carefully what he told them. They asked, Teacher, what must I do to receive eternal life? Then Jesus asked the question, what is written in the law? Jesus replied, how do you understand it, the law of Moses? He answered, so he quoted the law of Moses, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, love him with all your strength, with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. You have answered correctly, Jesus replied. Do that and you will live. But the man wanted to make himself look good. So he asked Jesus, and who is my neighbor? So who is my neighbor I should love like myself? Verse 30, Jesus replied. And now Jesus tells the story. You might have heard before. A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho. You know, when you have to go from Jerusalem to Jericho, it's not as far as going down from Galilee to Jerusalem through the town of the Samaritans. Jesus was kicked out once of the town of the Samaritans. They didn't like him because he was a Jew. And he went straight through to the next villages where he was received. But now it is just Jerusalem to Jericho. It's not so far, but it is quite a walk of several hours. Now let's see, robbers attacked him. They stripped off his cloth and they beat him. Then they went away 
leaving him almost dead. A priest happened to be going down that same road. When he saw the man, he passed by the other side. A Levite also came by. You know the Levites were the ones serving in the temple alongside the priests? They were the temple servants. When he saw the man, he passed by on the other side too. These were two religious people. But a Samaritan came to the place where the man was. When he saw the man, he felt sorry for him. He went to him, poured oil, olive oil and wine on his wounds and he bandaged them. Then he put the man on his own donkey. He took him to an inn and took care of him. The next day he took out two silver coins. He gave them to the owner of the inn. Take care of him, he said. Then I return. When I return, I will pay you back for an extra expense you may have. Which of the three, the three people, Jesus asked, do you think was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by robbers? Was it number one, the priest, number two, the Levite, number three, the other race, Samaritan, the Samaritan man? What do you think? Who was a neighbor to this injured man? Verse 37 concludes the authority on the law, that's the Pharisee or the one who questioned Jesus, he replied, the one who felt sorry for him. Or other translations say the one who had mercy on him, on his fe fellow human being. Jesus told him, go and do as he did. So do likewise, my friend. Have a nice day.